Hello and welcome to this uh, Stamina Box instructional video. Today we're going to be showing you how to install our custom eBot um, programming blocks or extensions into MakeBlock Scratch or MBlock. So the first thing you need to do is open up MBlock and obviously then download the extensions from our uh, website. You need to go to Extensions, Manage Extensions. Now this shows all of the extensions that are already installed. They're all there by default except the eBot one down the bottom. Now the eBot Pro extensions are already installed, but I would like to install our extensions for the eBot Junior. So I'm going to go Add Extension. Now by default it's looking for a JSON file, a JSON dot file, so we want to change that to a zip file. And then you need to navigate to where you have um, saved the zip file that you've downloaded from STEM Academy. And I want the junior zip file there. Open that up. And now you can see the eBot Junior. Great. So if we go back to extensions, these tick marks mean that those extensions are, will be visible in your robot menu tab. So I'm going to leave all of them there at the moment. So if we go into the robot menu tab, which is the bottom right hand one there, you can see that the Arduino extensions are there. I can show them if I wish. So they are some generic, there's not very many of them there, um, but there are some generic Arduino uh, coding blocks that we can use there to hide it. We can do that. Um, now the extensions that I just imported were the junior extensions which are right here. So we can see that the input sensor coding blocks are first. So one for the line, distance, joystick, button and timer and then all of the outputs are there. Now the eBot Pro extensions, they were already installed and they're still there. If I wanted to turn them off, or well not turn them off but just hide them, I can hide them so I can't see them anymore. Now these are the def these are the MBOT or MakeBlock extensions. Um, if you want to program the eBot, um, you can use um, the normal Arduino coding extensions, or you can use the Uno extensions. And you would have to put in the select the um, Uno board here, the Uno shield. Um, now, what's one of the advantages of our eBot uh, custom blocks? Well, the first thing that you notice is that, let's say you want to read the distance sensor, you just drag the distance sensor across. However, if you have an MBOT um, or a normal Arduino board, what you need to do is you need to read the distant distance ultrasonic sensor. You need to tell it what pin it's on or what port it's on, same thing. Um, so for the beginner users, we've written our blocks which already know what pin it's on and we can do that because we've made a teaching robot where we already know what pin all the inputs and outputs are on. Okay, so it makes programming a lot easier for beginners. However, as I said, if you wish to program the eBot using the normal make block Arduino uh, extension coding blocks, then you can do that. Um, you can use to read our light sensor or to read our ultrasonic sensor, you can just use that block there. But you've got to look up the pinout planner to find out what pins the echo and the trigger is on. Okay, um, if you wanted to program the eBot, you should, with a normal Arduino coding blocks, you need to go and select the UNO board, which is what type of um, board it is, and that's the UNO shield. So once again, um, you will then have to know all of the, so if you want to control the servo clause for argument's sake, in our robot, if you want to control the servos, or the claws, you, so this is our robot here, you just tell the robot to be either 100% open or 0% open. You don't have to tell it the pins, whereas if you're going to use the make block pins, the make block coding blocks, you have to tell it the port and the slot and you're going to have to get that from 
the pinout planner. So it's no problem with that and you may want to move on to that after you've mastered the uh, beginner blocks. But that's the big advantage of our custom blocks is that you don't have to know what pin or port slot everything's connected to. Thank you very much. That's how you extend, import extensions in MakeBlock. Thanks for listening.